and welcome to quantitative aptitude video from careerright.com. In this video, we would be dealing with problems on pipes and systems. Pipe and systems is very frequently asked in various bank exams, government body exams and MBA exams. Now, in this video, we have tried to cover almost all the concepts from which the questions from the topic are framed. Now, by the end of this video, you would be in a comfortable position while dealing with the problems from the chapter pipes and system. So let's get started. The first question. Two pipes P and Q can fill a tank in 15 and 30 minutes respectively. If both the pipes are used together, then how long will it take to fill the tank? Now you will find a bit of analogy while solving the questions of time and work and pipe and system. You will find out why. Let's solve this question. Part filled by pipe in 1 minute would be 1 by 15. As 15 minutes was the total time taken by pipe P to fill the tank alone. Now part filled by pipe Q in 1 minute, 1 by 30. Similar concept. So part filled by P plus Q in 1 minute would be 1 by 15 plus 1 by 30. That is 1 by 10. So both the pipes can fill the tank in 10 minutes. The reciprocal of this would be the answer. That is 10 minutes. Second question. Pipes X and Y can fill a tank in 4 and 5 hours respectively. Pipe Z can empty it in 10 hours. If all the three pipes are open together, then tank will be filled in. So what we would apply here is, we will try and add the work of pipe X and Y and subtract the work of pipe Z. So let's find out the total work of X and Y. Part filled by 1 hour by pipe X and Y would be 1 by 4 plus 1 by 5. That is 9 by 20. Now pipe Z takes 10 hours to empty the tank. So the the um, how much it would end, empty in 1 hour? 1 by 10. So we would subtract 1 by 10 in 9 by 20. So net part filled in 1 hour with the leakage counted in, in as well. So 9 by 20 minus 1 by 10 that is 7 by 20. So the reciprocal would be 20 by 7. 2.85 hours would be the answer. Third question. A pump can fill a tank with water in 3 hours. Because of a leak, it took 3.5 hours to fill the tank. Now the leak can drain all the water of the tank all alone in. Now we will subtract the work done by leakage in the work done by the pump. So part filled by pipe in 1 hour would be 1 by 3. And part leaked by the leakage in 1 hour would be 1 by 3.5 which can be written as 2 by 7. So work done by leak in 1 hour would be 1 by 3 minus 2 by 7 that is 1 by 21. So leakage alone will empty the tank in 21 hours. Fourth question. A tank is filled in 6 hours by 3 pipes P, Q and R. Now pipe R is 3 times faster than Q and Q is twice as faster as P. And we don't know the alone time taken by P. So we would assume the pipe P's time to be X hours. So as said that Q is twice as faster as P. So the time taken would be 2 times. So we will take for Q to be X by 2. That means twice. And for R it would be X by 6. Now we will add all these 1 by x plus 2 by x plus 6 by x that would be equal to 1 by 6 which is the total time taken by p q and r so it will go on to 9 by x is equal to 1 by 6 we get x is equal to 54 hours so pipe p will take 54 hours to fill the tank alone now two pipes p and q together can fill a cistern in three hours had they been operated separately then Q would have taken 8 hours more than P to fill the system. How much time will be taken by P to fill the system separately? Now, we don't know the time taken by P, so we would assume the time of P to be X hours. So, pipe Q's time would be, it is said that it takes 8 hours more, so X by 8. Now, 1 by X plus 1 by x plus 8 is equal to 1 by 3 which is total time taken when p and q all together are open. 
so we get the value of x as the quadratic equation is formed x square plus 2x minus 24 factorize we get x plus 6 x minus 4 is equal to 0 we get x is equal to 4 just because we negate the negative value of x that is minus 6 so pi p will fill the system alone in 4 hours i hope problem solved in this video would help you gain some confidence while dealing with the problem from this chapter in future thank you